there is the one for me. See you next week. Goodbye. Hello viewers, this is the Jenner Chat Show. My name is Olumide Oyimbokure, and with me, as usual, I am Adezo Wampo. Welcome to the show. And together we'll be discussing about a very, very sensitive and eating issue, and that is masturbation. Is it normal? Is it healthy? Are I people think? actually masturbating? Some call it wanking. I hear some ladies rubbing. Even in, um, in Wafi, they call it soapy. Oh yeah, interesting. Oh yeah. So people are actually doing it. Yes. The research actually shows that ninety-two percent of men actually would have masturbated for in their lifetime before oh. they die, and seventy-two oh. percent of women. And um, interesting, among the seventy-two percent of women who must have masturbated. 50% of them are going to deny ever masturbating. <laughs> because of you, let's share to talk about it. They feel it's sensitive. And yeah, it's, some people it feel it's like a form of shame. It's not natural. And I'm interested that babies masturbate. Really? Yes. Most mothers that reported mm. seeing their babies acting funny said mm. they get to see their baby rubbing their cleats. Mm. Around their toy, toy or on their on people's legs, mm. they go to the hospital to complain, and they tell them sometimes record this experience mm. so we can know what it is. And it turned out that most of them turn out to be babies actually masturbating. But um, psychologists said the pleasure they get is just like a baby that sucks the thumb that is actually nothing to them. Nothing to them. Wow. So the male masturbate, female masturbate, babies masturbate, teenagers masturbate. Middle age masturbate, the old and the young masturbate. Wow. Is it healthy? Is it normal? Is it okay to masturbate? Alright, viewers, all this and lots more are the issues we will be trashing out and slugging out on today's gender chat show. It promises to be an intriguing, exciting one. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back viewers, if you're just joining us, this is the Gender Chat Show and we are discussing on the topic, masturbation. Yeah, Jennifer is the one that she's been here before. Really? Welcome yeah. again, Jennifer. Welcome. So good to have you, it's always good to have you. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have uh, Mr. Rotimi Adekunle. He's an entertainer. Do you want to tell us about what you do as an yeah, entertainer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, actually, I organize events. Oh. I okay. do a teach PR oh, yeah? and uh, gala night. Mm. Uh, so, anything about it, I don't know. Artist night? That's super nice. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the show. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, uh, Mr. Likule, masturbation. Uh, it's uh, an issue that people shy away from, yeah. though people yeah. indulge in it. Now, Fact. the question is, is it bad to masturbate? Uh, well, actually... Given that it's a way to achieve sexual pleasure. Uh, well, I don't really see anything bad in there. Okay. To me. Okay. Uh, but for the sake of the younger ones watching the program, so I just, I, I won't really go straight like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but really, masturbation is not good. But when I was checking the, the Google, and I saw something that um, masturbation, it causes the infertility and the blindness hmm. uh, when you do more of it. So there's a, an health risk. Well, oh, yeah, when I, when I read that stuff. Yeah, yeah, when I read okay. that stuff. That Infertility. Infertility blindness. When, yeah. when, you, when you do it regularly, regular, 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 yeah. Yeah, day to day, the next day, you know, almost every day. Okay. So I think it causes that. But some, another research has it that mm. masturbation is actually healthy, healthy because it helps you relieve stress. stress. And it's relieving of stress. stress is part of human, yeah. being human. Yeah. Yeah. So I, how do we balance both? The thing is that the reason why I said that it causes infertility and the blindness was that mm. it's just like when you work every day and you don't really give yourself that rest. Okay. You know, you go to work in the morning, you come back late. And so then, it's the addiction so we are talking about, and not the act of act masturbation of itself. Okay. Why do you think ladies always deny the fact that they masturbate? Oh. You know, it's part of what, what most ladies do. It's part of who we are. Mostly because they are obviously ashamed of it because they feel, okay, mm. yes, if you say I must be the gives of hmm, really. <laughs> but it's a very normal thing, like, to me, it's not a sin at all. Like, it's very <laughs> normal, like, it's the 
I do wait to, to, to release your sexual stress. It's life. But the, but the part of addiction that has to do with masturbation that I worry about is for those who get addicted, they find it hard to Just have sexual intercourse with someone else. Someone. They don't derive pleasure from their partner. So, how do they cope such? How do you get out of How do you not get to the level of addiction? addiction. From my own point of view, I think like in a relationship, like there should, there is always the dominant part. Like more, maybe the guy or the woman okay. is more sexually active than the other. Mm. So let's say the woman she's addicted to masturbation and all. Like no matter how much she has sex with her husband or her boyfriend, like she ends up doing the whole masturbation. I don't know. You just have to maybe include your spouse in whatever it is you're doing so it mm. won't be a one-way thing like yeah. you have to balance oh, the equation oh, yes. yes some ladies also say that masturbation is a way of avoiding unwanted pregnancy yeah. and now is is, <laughs> is there enough reason for them to masturbate for me, I, I have no idea. Oh my god! <laughs> you don't want to confess this. Okay, that's what I think. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't really think so. Okay. I think a lot of ladies do that to have this extra, extra feeling hmm. that most guys, you know, there's a particular spot that a lot of guys cannot get to. Yeah. So okay. When it comes to this I mean, other yes. yes. mm. there's a lot of you know. So ladies do that just have to, to pleasure themselves. Pleasure get themselves. To that, you know, that's a, they call a particular place G spot. The G yeah. spot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, most yeah. guys don't eat that. <laughs> that uh, only that spot. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So most ladies always do that just to you know derive that pleasure. Just to oh my, let me kiss this. Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, for some, because um, penetration doesn't give them pleasure. Mm. So, yes. masturbation it is. But then there's, there's this thing about, for those who are very religious, masturbation it becomes a sin and a crime because they feel sex was designed right. to be shared. shared. It should be an intercourse. Yeah. You give and you, you take. take. Between two the masturbation becomes a say according to the religious two. people because you're giving yourself so, and you're receiving you from yourself. yourself. <laughs> no. You give to yourself pleasure so, and you receive, receive pleasure, pleasure from yourself. All by yourself. Instead of sharing. sharing it. So is that something to worry about? Like um, when you talk about the whole Christian part of thing, there's a difference between you masturbating and you actually having sex. Like when oh, really? yes. hmm. masturbation itself is not <laughs> sex. You don't do, you don't get the same sexual pleasure. Pleasure from from masturbation. You do. It's more like you have this very funny sounds you make and you know the whole is. It happens to be masturbation, but it's more like you as a person. You know what you are doing to yourself like okay it's just between you and yourself so mm. it's not something you should they should like you know blame on the christian work called because god himself didn't say it's a sin mm. it's, no only a, <laughs> yeah, it's only a sin <laughs> when you have something else in mind like if you think about someone or something then do it mm. then it's a sin but if you just do it okay it's very interesting to have to masturbate without necessarily having pictures in your head yeah it is there is a belief that people who masturbate don't do it because of uh, maybe sexual pleasure. Uh, they actually masturbate because they were once abused when they were growing up and they, are, they tend to have this uh, sexual dysfunction. So they, they, they just masturbate because they were abused when they were growing up. Now, how, how, how true is, is, is this? Uh, well, actually, uh, from my opinion, uh, as, as a lie. Okay. You know, ninety-five percent of guys do mm. masturbate, mm. and um, you don't say all these ninety-five are uh, sexually abused. So that mm. theory is not, it's not correct. Okay, so know. people actually masturbate to derive that sexual you know, pleasure. For me, I think it's just masturbation. It shouldn't be seen as dirty. As do dirty. you think it should be seen as dirty? No. no. It's it's okay to it remove the yes. So they should not add on the process of being abused when we're no, growing no. up. A lot of guys because they can't come out and say, just okay, say I that, just masturbate. Uh, yes, a lot of guys won't tell you that I've been abused this and that. I know okay. a lot of ladies would definitely hide on that stuff. I don't do it. Mm, like I said me. earlier, to me, it's not. Yeah, I don't say anything to it. It's a healthy way. Yeah, it's very it's healthy. Just yeah. about anybody. Is that what yeah. you're saying? When, when guys are together, you know, it's a thing that guys that are not pretending. You know, we have a lot of pretense. Guys that share things with each other, you know, guys talk about it. I, uh, for the fact, guys, you know, talk about it. You don't think it's a cultural <laughs> thing, we really don't 
we are not really allowed to talk to about certain kind of things. Except in a very private corner. Hey, but you discuss that with your friends. A lot of them don't like sharing it at all. Then you will do yeah, discuss to such with your... Uh, to take on that. Really, if you must debate, we will discuss. Did you want to share as well? Yeah, yeah. obviously. I will get my friends. But funny enough, I don't think I'll discuss with my mom. Because wow. she's... Or my dad. They I are cool. So it's more like, you know, it's... Not a bad thing. It's not even that thing. Yeah, yeah. Nature. It, it, it's it's usually it's common. It's, it's common. And it I'm helps to avoid contracting infection or something. Let's go quickly on the short day table. I bet this don't go anywhere. Welcome back. It's still the daily chat show and we're discussing masturbation. So psychologists argue that for some people Masturbating is a sign of anxiousness. See, for instance, uh, when I'm preparing for exams, I get to purge. For some people, it's the urge to masturbate that comes to their mind. How do you help them? How, how, how are they supposed to be able to deal with such tension? I, watch, I once watched something on TV. A lady says, if she's going through, say she's in a bus or mm -hmm. a car, and uh, they're on a high speed, she has the urge to masturbate. Yeah. Such rare cases, such um, serious cases, how do you manage that? It's more like, okay, she has this urge to masturbate and all. Okay. It's good, no problem. But the thing is that when you have the urge, you yeah. need to learn how to control yeah. yourself yeah. and when yeah. not to do it yeah. and all. So yeah. she's yeah. allowed yeah. to, yes, yeah. she's allowed to go home and relieve herself of the urge. Sex therapists believe that <coughs> for one to have the urge to masturbate shows that the person is sexually healthy. I mean, that means masturbation has its own uh, health benefits as well. But coming down here, how, how do we balance it with our society? Um, it depends on the type of family you're from or you, you're brought up in. To me, I feel like it's a normal thing anywhere, here, anywhere. Like, mm. it depends on where you do it or how you, I mean, if you get caught or something. So I feel like there should be no big deal about it. Okay. Masturbation is masturbation. All right. Sadikuli, mm -hmm. can someone abuse the act of masturbation? Yeah. Okay. That, that's, that's what I said, uh, you know, you know when you're doing it almost every day. Okay. That, that's, that's an abuse, you know. When someone is addicted, addicted to, to it. Yeah, addicted so. to it, you know. Once you're just in the bedroom, that's what you want to. Once you're alone, <laughs> once you're on the bed. How do you not like deal with the addiction? I, I think most times you just have to take your mind off it. Hmm. You know, that's just, I, I'm serious, you know, there are, there are times, let me just come out, let me open it. You know, there are times that I'm fond of that as well. Hmm. You know, once I'm in the bedroom, I'll just feel like wanking. You know, I'll just feel like, I'll just, you know, or when, whenever I'm taking my bath, when I get to that down part, you know, hmm. I just feel like, ah, let me just leave it, you know, and huh. before you know it, <laughs> so, you know, I, I decided to, and I, I started talking to myself. Okay. Like, no, this is not good. Or there are times that I will do it in the morning, then maybe in the afternoon my girlfriend will be around. Okay. Yeah, or maybe later I'll, I'll have somebody that I'll just cackle. What's the essence of doing it then? Mm -hmm. so what's the mm -hmm. point? You know, since your baby is still coming around later, <laughs> so what's the point? So, with time I started talking to myself. With okay. time I started talking to myself. So, before I know it, I don't do it anymore. You dealt with it. We are in a religious country. We are constantly told that man is a religious being. And someone mentioned online that when you masturbate, you diminish the essence of, of, your, <laughs> of your humanity, your humanity. of your being, of what makes you human. And it's like that our temple is the body of the, of the Lord. Of the Lord. Okay. So for you, is it, is it a fact that we should accept? No. Because no, yeah. it's not written in the Bible that <laughs> thou shall not touch thyself. No. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and enough of that, we are, we are humans and we are bound to make mistakes. Okay. If at all is in the scripture, you know, we are bound to make mistakes. We just only go and ask for forgiveness. Yeah, there's yeah. no perfect creature, no perfect human. You think it's not a mistake, mistake. I do. <laughs> it's not a mistake. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you think masturbation can help teenagers keep their virginity no what gives you pleasure and also it will get to a point where you want to 
let the other person know mm -hmm. this is what I want so you let the person do the whole giving and not you so it can it cannot it's a physical kind of thing yeah. the babies masturbate yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Um, masturbate. babies just that the pleasure they get from it is more like a baby that sucks the tongue or the mm -hmm. lips it's not like what what's the adult looks for but it's real in Nigeria if you catch a little baby probably <laughs> masturbating you probably get spam yeah really hard <laughs> but it's not okay some people feel it's important that you help them enjoy the process take them to a private place if they are like two three years old they understand a bit of correction you can start um telling them you know what this don't do this place. in public yeah if you feel like this go to your room or you get their mind distracted it's by it by reading to mm -hmm. them watching movies or any physical activity that will get their mind off that do you think it's something we could try when parenting in nigeria it could be it should be like i said depends on type of family you've been brought up in so it's not something you should be ashamed of like as you said um when you get to a particular age and all you're supposed to have your parents or very close okay your parents more to let you know okay this is what you're supposed to do this is what you're not supposed to do and all then with time you will get to like you know cope with it yourself and learn how to tame yourself whenever yeah, okay i get to understand so one thing in africa that you know, outside outside the country, you know, little things that we you know take with so much, it's so much. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. It's not over there. It just kind of like no, no, come over here. Come on, let's do it this way. Let's do that. But here, no way. Uh, we must jump in. You know, so that's just the, the bottom line of everything. You know, if we can really change our thinking. One well, last one before you go. <laughs> Yeah, masturbation, it's not a sin. It's not a call <laughs> for help at all. So it's something that you go through at every point in your life. Mm. You should just know when to curtail it and how oh. to handle yourself. Okay. Thank, you so oh. Thank you very much. We are okay. so happy to have you oh, again. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, viewers, we will be going on the street to sample people's opinion on this topic. We will be right back. Don't go nowhere. To me, masturbation is is wrong, very very wrong. Even in the Bible, even in the Bible, spiritually is is wrong. As a man, for you to masturbate, it's like you are killing your future. The urge of a wife will not be much there for you. At least. When, when you get this as in it's spiritual something, you have to pray against it. Because the Bible con condemns it. It's not good for a man to masturbate, even a lady to masturbate. Because there's a spirit behind it. Okay, I feel masturbating is a very big It's a sin, so it's bad. It's very bad. Anyone should not be. You can meet someone else or you cannot just be doing it by yourself. So masturbating is bad. It's quite all right. Uh, it's not good for one to shit. But when you're masturbating yourself, the, the specimen that is meant for you to produce children are not meant to be waste. So when you're doing that, so you are, it's like you're wasting the product of God as God has put in your body. Welcome back viewers. This is still the gender chat show. And that is it. People are so candid and open about yeah. Um, wow. I don't think in reality you're beginning to accept. Hmm. People do it. Hmm. So why have um, it? I guess it's the addiction that I have a problem with personally. Hmm. Don't get addicted to it and um, manage it. Manage it. Yeah, and we should stop being judgmental. Don't be judge all, all over the place. Just do the date in the closet. So you can come out and just tell people, wow, I just did it. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Yeah. I, mean, very <laughs> I, mean, sure. I can't tell people even among your peers. Among my friends. Okay. I'm not so for you guys, yeah. It comes easy for us. Because you guys are really open and all that. Mm. <laughs> 
Ah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's not a thing ladies enjoy discussing per se. All right, viewers, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Please join us, same time, same station. It's been wonderful having you guys there. Please feel free to send your comments and suggestions using the address that's showing on your TV screen. I'm the main Adesi Wanko. And I am Olumide Oyibokroe. Goodbye.